Hi people, it's Allie here, and my video for this week kind of fell through, so I didn't want to be without a video this week, so I looked on YouTube for some tags that have been floating around recently, and I found the book tag, so I will be doing that for you this week. Also, since I don't have a proper video this week, I'm going to be posting two videos this week, hopefully, so look forward to that. Anyway, let's get started. Do you have a certain place at home for reading? Normally, I just read here on my bed, or on the steps outside my house, or if it's somewhere out by my pool, because they're common places to read where I don't get distracted. Do you use a bookmark or a random piece of paper? Personally, I like using bookmarks. I have a Keep Calm and Carry On bookmark that my friend Kate bought me a while back now, and I use that for all my books. I absolutely love it. Can you just stop reading, or do you have to read to the end of a chapter or a certain amount of pages? Personally, I like reading to the end of a chapter because I feel like it's what the author intended you to end at. Um, and I just don't like ending in the middle of a scene because if I go back to it a couple hours later, I might not remember what actually happened. Do you eat or drink while reading? Generally, no, but when I read the Divergent trilogy and ever since then, I kind of gravitate towards munching on saltine crackers while I eat. I don't, I don't know why. They just, they just taste better when you're reading. Do you multitask like listening to music or watching TV? I personally like listening to music while I read just because I hate silence. I always have to have something playing. Uh, so I just put whatever music I'm listening to recently on repeat on my phone and I'll just have it lightly in the background while I read. And generally I don't pay attention to the music, I just pay attention to the book, but I just have to have something in my head. One book at a time or several at once? I am very much a one book at a time kind of person because I find that if I put one book down and pick up another, I will never go back to that other book. And I like finishing a book cover to cover just so I can say it's over with and I, that way I also don't get worlds mixed up. Reading at home or everywhere? This honestly depends on the book. If it's a book I am fully engaged in and I want to finish really quickly, I can read it pretty much anywhere. But if it's a book that I'm just kind of in eh about and I don't really care, I have to read it in like the privacy of my own room or else I will not pay attention to it. Reading out loud or silently in your head? Silently in my head? <laughs> Most people read silently in their head. The only time I will read it out loud though is if I'm fully not concentrating on the book and I really want to be, I'll just be like, okay, focus. That's when I turn the music off and I just read everything I say out loud because that way you take it slower and I will take it in easier than just reading it in my head because generally if I just read it in my head, if it's something I don't like, I will just daydream and I'll be like 20 pages in and I'll have no idea what I just read. Do you read ahead or even skip pages? Never. I am a big believer in trying to figure out the ending of a book before it actually happens. So throughout the whole book, I'm like, okay, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And I like make up stories in my head of how it's going to finish. And I feel like if I read ahead, that will totally ruin it. I'm also the kind of person that if I'm getting really into a chapter and something big's about to happen, I will cover the pages below the line I'm reading or like on the other side just so I don't read ahead because I know my eyes will wander if they get the chance. Breaking the spine or keeping it like new? I like that books look new without breaking the spine, but sometimes the best books are the ones that have the spine broken because they just look more red and loved to me. A book that looks totally tattered can be one of the most amazing things because a book looks loved and read and appreciated, even if it doesn't make sense because it looks like a mess. Do you write in your books? No. Books are made for the reader and you, uh, one book can be passed around between a hundred different people and they will all have a different experience with the book. And if one person writes in that book, it ruins the experience for another person and they don't get to take their own feelings from it and they're just stuck looking at someone else's. And finally, who do you tag? I tag everyone that wants to do this. If you like reading, then why not do it? I haven't seen very many people do this tag yet, so do it. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also make sure to comment what your favorite book is. If you want to subscribe, you can click right here. Or if you want to see my last video, you can click right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye! Click, clicky, clicky, click.